Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of A Wee Touch of Madness, the weekly podcast show where I interview a different guest every single week. And today I have with me Tales from the Oracle. How are you doing guys? Good and you? Yeah, awesome stuff. So can you tell us a little bit about yourselves for the people out there who may not be familiar with who you are and what you do? We're from Montreal. We're a Montreal-based band. We've been together for about a year and a half. And uh, with all that's going on with uh, C19, coronavirus and all that, we've been working hard to like put our music out, try to create some music, even though we couldn't jam together or play music together for like the past year almost. Uh, so right now we've been whoa, really, really working hard trying to catch up. Uh, we shot a music video not too long ago that's going to be coming out soon. So, uh, you know, yep. we're, we're a hard-working band. We, we love what we do. We're putting our music out for everybody. So, you know, it's all for you to enjoy. Fair enough. I like that. That's a good. That was a good answer. Definitely like that. So, other than your music video that you've got coming out soon, have you got any other plans musically for the rest of the year? Uh, yeah, I think we're uh, we're gonna be very very busy next year. Uh, we're going in studio soon to um, to, to record our uh, new EP, and um, we've not been long with uh, Rob with Enigma. We've been uh, with them not for a, a long stretch of time, so everything's exploding right now. We should have an album also a full length somewhere near spring or summer 2022 and uh shows after that lots of projects very nice lots of projects so that's what i like to hear get yourselves busy get yourselves out there that's the only way to do it these days really isn't it so can you tell me what your influences are with how you got into music i would say for myself uh, suicide silence uh slipknot for sure um white chapel is a big influence and joe is a very nice vocalist yeah <laughs> anyone else yeah uh, uh, he sings the, the softest music uh, like uh, like i'm really into slipknot and all that all the hardcore shit and everything yeah but, uh man i'm still getting digging the beastie boys uh brown clutch Everything that goes from uh, some hip hop to stoner rock, to southern rock, all the way to fucking uh, heavy metal, death metal, whatever you want to call it, all the drums, everything, man. It's all good stuff, man. It's music. It's just music. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, you gotta listen to music. When you want influences, you gotta listen to a lot of music. Definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Me, the first person that influenced me was my dad because he was a drummer too. Lots of musicians in the family, and uh, started. I started listening to music at a very young age. Started out with stuff like, well, I'm a bit older than life, so like uh, April Wine and uh, stuff like that. But after afterwards, Black Sabbath, Vinnie Appice. I love that drummer. It's a great influence and. Uh, Metallica, Slayer, Celtic Frost, Voivod, Iron Maiden. What drummer doesn't love our uh, Nico McBrain? And uh, big, one of my biggest influences, Trent, Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. He uh, was close to a guy. It's funny that you mentioned uh, Slayer because me and my me and my missus, we actually went to see Slayer when they played live in Glasgow for our date night when they were getting uh, supported by Amphrax. That was an incredible night, I've got to say. That, and that was our date night. <laughs> so your, ears are, your ears are still ringing? <laughs> oh, just uh, only slightly. <laughs> it's a real loud player. I love it. Oh, yeah, definitely. So with all those influences that all of you have got combined, if you could do a collaboration with anyone, who would it be? Uh, for my part, uh, probably Beastie Boys. I'm a big Beastie Boys fan, so I'm still uh, like I'm still rocking the Check Your Head album. I still listen to like probably, probably once a week. So uh, 
Yeah. For my part, definitely Trent Reznor. Okay. The, yeah. the one guy. For sure, Joe Boosman from uh, Whitechapel would be awesome. Well, I hope, I hope, I hope to high heaven that you actually get the chance to do a collaboration with all those guys. That absolutely would sound absolutely incredible. I, I can know. just, I can already imagine the the kind of musical baby that would come from that, and it's just like whoa. <laughs> Very brutal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a just a quick slap in your face. There we go. Right, I'm prompt, ready to go for the rest of the day. Let's do this. <laughs> and then the infection spreads. Yep. <laughs> so, what is the one message you like to give to your fans out there who might be watching this? We're there for stay to stay. There to stay. We'll Cut throat to the point. Be careful, because we'll be around for a little while. I think. You think? Oh, I, I, I certainly hope because that track that I listened to, that you guys done, was absolutely incredible. It blew my mind. I actually hope for more of that in the future. That was just like boof. And for those of you at home, if you haven't heard it, I will have the link to their Spotify down in the description, so you can check it out, and then you can tell me tell me what you think. <laughs> I'd like to say something for the fans, though. Go on then. Stick around with us. We have. Lots, tons of great stuff coming up. And um, we're going to bring you into a nice, dark, supernatural world. It's very brutal. And it's got lots of groove and violence going on. So stick around because there's lots of surprises coming up the next year. And we awesome. Love you. And, and we love you. Got to put that you. in there. And we love you. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> So what is the one thing that you'd wish you had known, like now that you would have known when you were younger before you started your music career? Just just try it. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> just give it your all, man. Don't, don't be scared to put anything out, even though you think it's not good. Someone's going to like it somewhere, right? Eh? Exactly. That's what I've been saying for like most of my podcasts. If you don't do it, you don't know. You've got to at least give it a try. Yourself a chance, man. Just like I said before, it's music. If someone doesn't like it, who gives a fuck, man? You gotta, you gotta try it to know if it's good or if it's not. And if it's not, it doesn't matter. Just redo it. Exactly. Worst case, if you love your own music, you can listen to it. Well, that's the most important. First off, if you like what you're putting out, man, that's uh, what that's gold, man. Well, I suppose if you didn't like what you were putting out, it'd be kind of pointless, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. (laughs) So where can... Sorry, Dan. Sorry, carry on. The one one thing I, I, I wish I knew back then is it's all about the song. It's not about ourselves. It's about the groove, it's about the people and the song, more than personal uh, performance or anything. And I guess, well, you learn that much more in time, but uh, it's very important. I like that. I really like that. that. No, yeah, that was good. That was. That's actually probably one of the most thoughtful answers to that question that I've had in a long while. <laughs> 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 So I like that. <laughs> so where can can... <laughs> should happen then. <laughs> so where can people connect with you online? Facebook, Twitter. Uh, no, sorry, not Twitter. Instagram, TikTok. Right. Out of that, is it on that? That's it, I think. Yeah, that's it. Well, oh, well, if anyone out there would love to get in contact with these guys, you know, just for a chat or, you know, just to listen to their stuff, I will have the links to their socials down in the description below as well. So you can definitely check them out, check them out, check them out on their Insta, their TikTok and their Facebook. 
it should be definitely a blast. <laughs> yeah. Right now, now it is time for the most important nitty gritty down and dirty part of the interview. So I hope you are ready. We are. Yeah. Are you, are you sure? No. Sure. What sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol? <laughs> oh, what sport? Uh, I would say, you know, there's that new sport with the bubbles there. You play soccer in those bubbles? Yeah. <laughs> nah, man, you would shoot in there, that'd be fucking sick. That'd be disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't tried it, but hey, snowboard and alcohol, man, is probably the funnest thing there is out there. <laughs> Naked volleyball. <laughs> oh, what about dodgeball? That would be pretty funny to play when with a bit of mandatory amount of alcohol, wouldn't it? <laughs> Trying to dodge the ball while you're drunk, like whoa! <laughs> Just lay flat on the ground, you'll be safe for the whole game. <laughs> That's usually what happens after a Saturday night, anyway, isn't it? You just it's lay on the ground. Yeah, wait till the morning or the ambulance comes to pick you up at least. <laughs> oh, flat, man. That's the way to go. So, what is the most amount of trouble you have been in? Now, remember, nothing illegal. <laughs> Try and keep it PG. Oh, most amount of trouble. Eh? Well, mm. probably, uh, sometime back in high school, probably got busted for... For, I don't know, for doing stupid things in the hallway, he's trying to trying to skip school, obviously, which you shouldn't do. Staying cool. <laughs> But if you want to, if you want to keep it PG, that's all I gotta say. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, got chased around by cops with a two four on my shoulder going from yard to yard and they couldn't catch us uh in the good old teen years <laughs> <laughs> what about you patrick what's the most amount of trouble you've been in that's not illegal and pg that cannot talk about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got it caught in his zipper <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. Probably a lot of things that I probably don't remember. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you that so, old, psycho? Sorry? The cycle's a bit old. <laughs> That's why he doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your thoughts a lot of on trouble. Yeah. yeah. So what are your thoughts on the music industry today? Uh, music industry today, it's, uh, I think it's getting better. It's getting better than what it used to be a few years back. Talking about like musically wise, mm. uh, real bands I think are coming back out, playing their own instruments, composing their own music. Nothing that's too like studio pushed and not too stock and everything. Uh, obviously, with all uh, like with all the platforms and everything, it's much easier to put yourself out, to promote yourself by yourself, uh, with the help of anybody who's in, into it. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think these years, these years past, and these years coming up, uh, it's a good way to put uh, just your own stuff out, man. Uh, it's, it's like you've been saying since the beginning, like, go ahead, push it. It's the best way to go. Yeah. Any other thoughts on that one? No? Uh, the industry, well, it, should, it certainly changed a lot for the best and for bad too. But uh, what I love about the industry now is that we can self-produce, do all our stuff on our own. You do what you like. But a few problems come along with that though. But still in general, uh, 
it's great to uh, to be able to do your stuff and not being told what to told what to do yeah mm. yeah see i like that because i wanted to do these podcasts and no one could tell me i couldn't do it so i was just you know fuck it i'm gonna do it (laughs) (laughs) i think the i think the internet helped a lot new artists if uh, we want if those people really want to get known it's pretty easy with internet but it pays a lot less i guess at the end but uh, you, you should not do that for money at the end it doesn't do. well that's funny enough because that brings me on to my next question which was uh, how do you feel that the internet has impacted the music industry i already answered yeah you already answered <laughs> <laughs> it's a big problem for money uh, the one thing that has to go better is uh, the profit sharing i think uh, i saw led zeppelin in a, in a in an interview somewhere they were leading a battle for that against the industry for new musicians to get better paid because it's hard work it's uh, lots of dedication lots of long hours and uh, the guys should be more encouraged and be better paid yeah yeah that's a that's a like that. That's a good answer. That's kind of been the same theme along through all of my previous episodes. It seems to be along going along the same theme, you know, better, better, more, uh, better shares for the artists and for the musicians who are actually yeah. creating the music. And we need um, to stick together. Oh, the definitely. guys need to stick together more. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> musicians unite. Exactly, man. Keep it real, man. <laughs> 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 so, so we are now coming up to the end of the podcast so i've only got about two maybe three more questions for you now this question is going to be i can guarantee the most important question you're going to get asked in your life okay if you go on any other any other interview, any other podcast, this question I'm about to ask you is going to be so much more important than all of them. So are you ready? I believe you. Bring it on. Okay. Do you sing in the shower? And if you do, what do you sing? Celine Dion. Celine Dion. <laughs> and he really fails. Sorry. All the time. Fails <laughs> I'd like to answer that though. <laughs> okay. I'd like to answer that one. Okay. You, you don't want me to sing. If I sing, water doesn't go through the pipes here, and they'll even stop by internet at your place. I don't sing. It's so bad. <laughs> oh my last God. time last time he sang it there was a flood in the river. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't sing. No fucking way. <laughs> oh, that was the funniest thing I've heard. <laughs> the cycle over here. He's a psych- <laughs> well, have you guys had fun? Have you had fun yeah, doing this for sure. me today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ready for some more anytime, my friend. Yeah, so you definitely want to come back on. Yeah. Hell yeah! Well, you heard it here first, then, people. Next time that we get these guys on, we are going to pass the floor to you at home, and it's going to be the same rules that apply for every single guest and every single artist. The most weirdest, messed up, most fucked up question you can think of, put it down in the comments, and next time we get them on, we will ask it to them. Yeah. <laughs> I, will, 
I want to try and make these guys go, whoa, crap, did they actually say that? <laughs> <laughs> we got no filters, don't worry about it. <laughs> See, this is why we're getting along, because we're, we're the same. That's good. In the meantime, I will have the links to their Spotify and all their socials down in the description and also the links to my Facebook and Instagram page, A Wee Touch of Madness, so you can keep up to date with the latest and greatest in what I do every week for the podcast. In the meantime, stay safe, and I will see you for the next episode.